But when you ask if Christians and atheists are the same, honestly, in many, 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 many ways, yes, absolutely. <laughs> For levels of of behavior, it's it's all about belief, and you've had the wrong belief, and yeah, they're honestly they can they behave quite the same sometimes. Yeah, I'm I'm stuck with the Jews. I'm I'm stuck with Abrahamic people very much because that's where you go to get the goods, you know. Uh, so in other words, to to be to be godly, you can't worship created things. Right. Uh, theists, sure. Not a Jew, though. I'm not a Jew. I eat pork, and I <laughs> I do enjoy bacon. Uh, <laughs> I, I won't deny that. Awesome. Um, awesome thing. Praise God. Praise God for the hogs. Bless them. Yes. Prayer for the hogs. Uh, they give us good bacon and shit like that. Uh, <laughs> see, this is um, something that I would like to uh, relay to many uh, believers, okay, um, or um, God lovers, all right, uh, or believers. We need to start, um, it's okay to use our terminology for things, but when a non-believer hears the word fear, you know um, they associate something negative to that. So um, they don't know that it means that it's respect, that it means respect, okay? So he's asking, God, fear, over in the chat box, why fear, okay? Cause, okay, so, I, so I'm just going to explain that to him. Uh, Safi, um, when he says God fearing, that means reverential fear, respect, honor, okay? That's it. Absolutely, yeah. Fear is, is is respect. It is. Um, it doesn't mean to be afraid. Um, it does not mean that you have to look that word up. Uh, fear. That fear is reverence, honor, respect. Um, it's not a sense of being scared. This is not the same. It's not the same uh, relatable um, emotion. All right. Uh, because. Um, when it says fear God rather than man, he's not saying be, in, be afraid of God. It means give God's word more respect or priority than you do um, that of a man. Okay, So um, that's even in the uh, believer's faith. Even, even the words that they use, they don't understand very well. So um, that's why we have such a hard time explaining to the atheists because we haven't been um, thoroughly taught uh, what, what things mean. So it makes it really difficult to relate something that you don't understand quite quite well yourself. Okay? And um, yeah, that's what uh, fear, fear, that word fear means when it is, I don't know what it means in the Torah because I don't even know what the Torah is. Um, but in the Bible, when the word fear is being used, um, not all the time, in, in some cases it means exactly what you would think it would mean. It means being afraid. But, okay, say for example, like um, when people, when the angels would uh, approach people, they, the Bible says that uh, he feared, all right, or she feared, or whatever. Um, then in that regard, yes, it meant um, they were afraid, you know, or scared. It wasn't reverence or respect. They were really scared, okay? So, um, but when it speaks in regard to God, as far as giving instructions, um, it is speaking about respect, honor, priority, on a, on placing priority. It doesn't mean being afraid. Well said. Well, it's believing in Jesus is one thing. To <laughs> yeah, Hindu, I, I must spell to believe. I mean, believing is one thing, but we don't pray to Jesus. We pray to God. Even Jesus said when he, the one prayer he gave, he said, "Pray to our Father." Right. Right. Okay. So okay. that's the, so we don't pray to Jesus. Whether oh, okay. He's we, or Savior, we were here then, Jane. We were right here then. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we see eye to eye on that one, uh, it, it, and it, it it annoys me. A little bit with the Christians, they Jesus this and Jesus that and Jesus Jesus Jesus. And first of all, that wasn't even his name, but we ain't gonna get into that. 
even like you said, even he said, don't worship him. He said to honor the father, you know, to pray. He said, I will pray to the father. He didn't say pray to me. <laughs> he said, let us pray to the father. Let's talk to the father about this, you know, <laughs> and everything like that. So uh, I, I can dig them blue. That is so annoying to see the, the Jesus worshipers. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I be out smashing too, uh, Jane. You, I know you done seen my video. I, I get my, uh, I got one of them mirror mirrors. Uh, uh you got the ham, uh, that uh, Hamlet, all right. But I got me a mirror mirror. You know what a mirror mirror is? Mm -mm. But you ain't never seen Thor. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's that? You seen Thor? Oh. <laughs> okay, I know what you're saying now. Thor the moon. Yes. <laughs> yes. He the hammer, and he when he put his hammer down, uh, it's a wrap. When he put the hammer down, all right. Well, uh, that hammer is called a mirror mirror. All right, it, that's the name of it. It's not called um, a hammer. They call it the uh, mirror, mirror. mirror mirror. Yeah, I keep my mirror mirror. It, uh, it, shit. Yeah, you right. Uh, uh, Jesus' name was. Uh, uh, not it was not Jesus. Uh, the word G, uh, the it means savior. Okay, so they were saying that uh, recognize him as being a savior for the people um, and stuff like that. But that wasn't his name. His name was Samaria. All right. So uh, which means God in us. Okay. What are the origins of the name Christ? Some of the not softy, this is the thing that causes a lot of division amongst uh, Christian believers, or, uh, is that they argue over what the origin is, what's most important, and stuff like that. Um, so it, it, you really can't say where something began if you wasn't actually there. So what would you have to rely upon to figure out where things began? You would have to rely on um, the evidence that you are presented with, okay, or any type of documentation. problem with the Christian faith in um, gathering information to find out origins or whatever, find out what's right or wrong or belief systems or whatever like that, um, doctrine versus uh, actual uh, spiritual com commands or principles. The, the, the only way that you uh, would be able to verify that is to go to the source, which is God. Okay? He knows everything. Uh, reason being is because um, Christians have endured a lot of persecution. Therefore, a lot of their actual written accounts and evidence that can prove certain things were destroyed. Okay? Destroyed. So, um, people are, uh, when they argue about what's right and what's wrong, they are actually doing it in ignorance um, because they are not getting the point that there is no way that you can get to the bottom of this stuff because evidence has been destroyed. It's that simple. It's that simple. <laughs> you, it, it's no way you can have a definite or emphatic knowledge about that unless you ask God, which he knows everything. So otherwise, you're just going based on what you have. Can you have a case where hmm, somebody is proven guilty by reason of the fact that there was lack of evidence to prove them innocent? Absolutely you can. Okay, so it's easy for atheists to go up in the air and say, you ha your God doesn't exist by reason of lack of evidence. Okay, but what they can't do is, they can't prove that God doesn't exist. They, they can't submit evidence to prove that he doesn't. They can only say that a believer cannot present evidence to prove that he exists. I agree. You see, most atheists don't want to admit that. 
as much as they say they go by evidence, 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 they don't have no proof that God don't exist, yet they will say and post me me that he doesn't. Where's your motherfucking evidence? Y'all say y'all go by evidence. Where's your fucking evidence? Well, take that motherfucking me me down then, because you don't got no damn evidence. You know, so I, I, I could make them look real, real bad, but I know they don't know no better, so I don't even, I just you know, throw that out there, let that marinate, and <laughs> they, they had to get back with me. I done debunked a bunch of them, poor thing. They, they, they gather and they, uh, they trying to get their stuff together now and hopefully uh, either they realize that uh, they lost and they didn't gave up the fight or either they going to gather up some more bullshit and they'll be back. But I debunked them already. Every last one of them. Every last one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I take that back. There's some out there that I haven't uh, debunked them. Uh, personally, but they watched my video where I was debunking somebody else that had the same uh, shaky grounds they were standing on, so they don't even want no parts of me. They don't want to be embarrassed, uh, so they don't want no parts of me. You know, uh, it's not because candy's so bad, but I I can't, we, we, I'm not going to let nobody uh, take me all around the corner like I'm a hoe. We're going to stay right here out in the open. So whatever we want to uh, discuss, going to be discussed in the open and the sight of everybody where it can be properly judged. You know, if they want to try to make my God look bad, if there's no way that that can be done, I can just chill on that. I can just, you know, sit back and, and laugh at it. Uh, but we want to get into a debate about uh, the difference between this and that. All right. Mm -hmm. I can break it down to the law of terms, but my confidence comes from God because he got, uh, uh, his wisdom reigns no matter what. And I can prove it, and I'll do it over and over again. That's why I challenge him, but I ain't got no takers. I ain't got no takers. You know, in the Bible, uh, it, it, there are many uh, mm, testaments, and this is why atheists hate that Bible, though. They hate that Bible, uh, cause there's many testaments in the Bible where people have challenged our God. We always win. <laughs> Ain't that right, James? It's hard for him to touch it. It really is. <laughs> they, they, build, they build an idol. And they say, this is what you worship, and it's all wrong. Watch me destroy it. See? <laughs> You're wrong. See what I did there? <laughs> we put the hammer down on their ass. <laughs> we put the hammer down on that ass every time, you know. Uh, so they, uh, they don't want no trouble. All right. Uh, it's kind of like Muhammad Ali. Uh, for a long time, he couldn't even find no contender because people say, I ain't getting in the ring with that man. Make me look like a damn fool. <laughs> <laughs> and shit. His manager had to tell him, when you have a fight, don't whoop him so bad. Like, you let him make it through the first round. God damn, people want to be entertained and shit like that, you know. Don't whoop him off up in the uh, first round. <laughs> Look, the first three seconds of a round is a TKO, you know. <laughs> you got to toy with him a little bit. And that's when Muhammad started dancing around the stage and so forth mm -hmm. <laughs> and carrying out. Because he knew he was going to win anyhow. So he danced around the stage and cut up and turn flips and carry out and, you know, give the people a good show before he knock a motherfucker out. <laughs> It's shit. Uh, and uh, I, get, I get a little, I need to stop my shit though, but I get a little pleasure out that. I got. I get just a little bit of pleasure out that, you know. I like to uh, toy with them uh, idol, uh, them idol worshippers. Even, even the so-called Christians that claim they are uh, uh, defending our God is shoot. I don't know what God they serve, but uh, the God I serve, he don't need no defending. 
<laughs> he a bad son of a gun all by himself. <laughs> He the boss of this operation, and ain't a damn thing nobody can do about it. <laughs> <He's shit>. <laughs> <laughs> That's real talk. <laughs> yeah, that's real talk. They can piss and whine and moan all they want to, but ain't a damn thing they can do about it. Uh-huh. Um, we can't empirically show God. Fine, he's not supposed to, but that's the point. Um. You find God in all things. That's the point. Or a guy from the future, but there's something strange and unnatural about it, completely off the wall. It's The Hebrew language is like no other language on the planet. It's pictorial, like Chinese and Sanskrit. It's spoken phonetically, like our alphabet, but it's also numerical, and it works like the chemical language, uh, which I'm just getting into learning Hebrew. I've only been able to read my Hebrew a year. Hebrew is a bad motherfucker, Amy. Uh, I agree. Uh... God was showing me uh, 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 that, uh, boy, that Hebrew is a motherfucker. Uh, I, I love it, too. I'm very intrigued by it. Uh, 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 I studied the Greek and Hebrew, but that Hebrew got something spiritual off of in it. It, uh, good God Almighty, one word, because uh, their words are expressions, not words. Right. So, uh, therefore... One word can mean the very the express opposite of uh, like uh, um like the zvi and a zev and a ziv. Um, there are no there are no vowels on a Torah scroll, so that's spelled with the same Hebrew letters: the deer, the zavi, and the wolf. The zvi, I think that's right. But in Hebrew, it's a it's a um a, a z and a vav. It's the same two Hebrew letters. It would mean both predator and prey. You yes, know, it's like the it. opposite. Is is well, that's what God is—the perfect balance. Yes, their words are um, the opposite of each other. It can mean either or. Uh, you okay. can use like Abba. You know how people say Abba, Father. Mm -hmm. The word Abba, I found, does it mean Father? It can be referring to a father figure in adoration. Or you can use the word and say Abba. That Abba can mean that an uh, enemy. <laughs> so it can mean friend or foe. You know, I said, wow. Uh, <laughs> that is, you are so right. That uh, I don't know nothing about the Torah, but baby, that Hebrew language is something else. I, I, boy, I was spiritually drawn to that language too. I really was. I tell you, uh, not was, I am. Uh, that language there is so awesome in itself. It is amazing uh, language. All the the layers and the, the you know it just every word every phrase blossoms into a thousand teachings. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's that's how it's referred to. And there's more. There's far more to it. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. It's it's like watermelon or ice cream. It's good stuff. You know. It. What you love it anyway. Well, if it's broken down, see, this is where I get uh, lost with many of the intellectual soundness of certain uh, information as it's presented. The problem where I get lost is that I find awesomeness in not that I can't understand something profound, but I find uh, something to be awesome in its simplicity that it looked as if it was so sophisticated that you couldn't understand it, mm -hmm. but it's as simple as ABC, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and that is the awesomeness that I find in God, that those things he said, he took the foolish things and to confound the wise, or he hid the wisdom of wealth in the poor, you know. My point is, I, I, I like simplicity. I, I found that God is, is in his awesomeness is able to be extravagantly awesome and simple all at the same time. Yeah, uh, that's what makes him so amazing that he can be the extreme sense of intellect, you know, as far as knowledge and wisdom. He can be the ultimate and the least. All at the same time, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah.
that's what intrigues me about him. He can reach the highs, the highs, and and dip down here low in the valley where I'm at too. The old folks used to sing in the Pentecostal church where I come up, say the song that they sung during the what is that Easter uh, holiday. Well, they sung it all year round, but it just uh, they made sure that on on that Easter holiday that's supposed to be about the resurrection. Uh, not about no bunny laying eggs. I don't know how in the hell that happened, but anyway, uh, it was supposed to be about the resurrection of Jesus or whatever like that. So they used to sing this song about the blood of Jesus and how powerful it is, you know, uh, that bloodline, you know. Uh, yeah, so uh, they would sing about the blood and how powerful that sacrifice was for um, the song say. Um, the blood that Jesus shed for me is the blood that was shed on Calvary. It's the blood that gives me strength. From day to day to day to day, yeah, it will never, never lose its power. Oh, cause it reaches to the highest. Oh, it reaches to the highest mountain. Oh, but your love it flows way down deep in the lowest, the lowest valley. It's the blood, my Savior's blood, that gives me strength from day, from day to day, to day. and it will never, never, never do. Never do it hard. Yeah, I, I loved it, that song. Um, because uh, what what that song said to me was God was so awesome that He didn't just uh uh, uh mm. He didn't just uh, uh, care about souls that ride their high horses. Yeah, nah. He could like that, baby. He'll get on your level, type of God. And uh, 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 what I love about it, uh, it uh, the, the song said, the blood, it flows way down deep in the lowest, the lowest. The lowest valley. That's where I'm at right there. Right there, down there in the bottom, uh, where nobody wanna go. You know, down up in the hood. I, I let me know. God come down in the hood. You know, He ain't scared uh, to come in the hood. <laughs> yeah, way down deep in the low, where the low is. He come to the lowest valley, and it's the blood. My sweet is blood uh, that gives me strength from day, from day to day to day. And it will never, never do us. It will never, never do his power. Yeah, good like that, baby. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, he good like that. <laughs> yeah, that's why he don't need no defense. Yeah, he, gonna, he ain't gonna lose his power. That's because the atheists say that he ain't real. <laughs> He's still the boss. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> he good like that. Uh huh. Yeah, he good like that. Andy, it's Father's Day. I gotta go be a good father. Thank you. All Dad. right, all right, all right. Uh, not thank you for dropping in. I forgot it was even a holiday. I don't much keep up with it. I probably need to call my daddy and and um, rub on his head a little bit and tell him I and tell him thank you for getting it on with my mom and uh, bringing me here. <laughs> I'll th thank him for me too. <laughs> great. All right now. Be well. <laughs> 
Yeah. Wow. We got a lot of views at that point. A good God body. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I appreciate y'all uh, checking in. I, I got a little lost. I'm back now. <laughs> and shit, I'm back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I get lost sometimes in, 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 in uh, uh, what the idiots might consider fantasy land. All right. But it's some uh, old man Spanish and last good shit off. And now I, I take me a first uh, class trip over there. Yeah. It is, it is great. 